Cotton was a success story for many, many years. And in fact, my city was called the city of white gold because of its cotton production. That remained true, I think, till early 80s. And from middle of 80s, cotton started getting caterpillars and so many of uh, other damaging, damaging insects for which every year some new insecticide was introduced in the market. Most of the time that insecticide was successful in controlling those caterpillars and those problems. Though, though it every year added to the uh, expenses to be done on the cotton fields. But somehow it did give you income. In uh, as uh, 80s uh, went into 90s, or early 90s or late 80s, the insects became stronger and they were resistant to all kinds of insecticides, be it the old obsolete insecticide or be it the newly introduced insecticide. Prior to Bt, we tried every kind of lethal poison that was available in the market to spray on our cotton crops. And you won't believe it believe this, but every evening, not, not even alternate day, every evening we were spraying our fields with insecticides. This charged the complete environment with smells of pesticides, poisonous fumes that created havoc with the bird life, animal life, insects, frogs, sparrows, and they were in no time vanished from our villages and even from our smaller size towns and cities. You could no, no longer hear chirping of birds, pigeons were nowhere, crows could not be seen and no one actually at that time pondered that where they have gone. Though some farmers believed that yes, because we are doing so much of poison on our spray, uh, this thing, crops and they might be eating this also and they might have died. And they might have left this area and moved to some safer place. This is what happened during pre-BT scenario. I am now almost 100% into BT cotton. The day it was introduced legally in India, I uh, procured this seed. So before that also, it is said that some sellers were selling superior F1, F2 varieties of BT cotton. Many of my farmer brothers went right up to Gujarat, some 2,000 kilometers away from my city to get that seed. As they were so much frustrated with the earlier problems of the normal uh, hybrid cotton, that they, even someone had uh, told them that you have to swim, swim through the sea, they would have to get that seed. I have about uh, 15 or 15 acres of uh, BT cotton right now. And apart from those 15 acres, I have one acre of non-BT cotton also with me. And fortunately, both are very healthy. From this way, what I can draw out is that the population of those harmful insects has gone down due to BT cotton. So the non-BT variety has also gained from the use of BT cotton seed as that is also healthy and free of those attacks. And another thing that I have observed, with, with, with which many will agree, we have again chirping birds near our villages. The, our national uh, bird peacock has arrived back. Pigeons are there. Insects we can see again. We can see frogs during the rains. So animal kingdom was also uh, returning to normal after the advent of BT.